welcome back to Craig's Custom Cooking. Today I'm going to show you how to make Chinese smashed cucumbers. It's a, it's a really good dish. I love them. We're going to have them tonight with our Italian sausages, sandwiches. So let me make them up. I'll show you the process. We'll finish them up. Alright, these are the mini cucumbers. You can get them at uh, Giant Wise, any of them. You can also use an English cucumber for this. I prefer these because they have smaller seeds. So all you're going to do, cut the end off of them. Here comes the fun part. You're going to take a Ziploc bag and put all your cucumbers inside. You don't drop them on the floor. So I have six of them. So we're going to put them in here. And this is to stop the seeds from spraying all over your kitchen. You'll be picking up cucumber seeds for a week if you do that. There's there's two ways that it can be done. You can take a regular meat mallet or meat cleaver and just smash them like that. Or you can use a meat tenderizer. You can even use a flat, flat pan if you don't have anything else. To that. Now we're going to take them out, put them on our cutting board. I'll get a few out at a time. If any of the seeds or anything fall out, just leave them in the pan or leave them in the bag. Right. Start with these. I like to cut them on an angle like that. That's all we do. You're gonna you're gonna have some longer ones, you're gonna have some short ones. It's just it's the way they're gonna be. Move these back. Now once you get them all cut up, you're gonna take them. Gonna put them in a sieve over it over some kind of container to hold the liquid. Then you're going to take one tablespoon of salt and sprinkle over it. Let me get the rest of them in here and then I'll show you the next step. Now we're just going to get in here and toss everything around. You want to make sure that you get the salt all of your cucumber pieces because this is going to draw all the moisture out of these cucumbers and keep them extremely crispy. I'll tell you a little story. When my mother-in-law came over from China, they came over, my mother-in-law and my father-in-law, they came over, they stayed for three months. She knew that I loved these pickles. We have a Safeway that's about a mile and a half up the road. 
she would walk to that store every day, if not every day, every other day, to get fresh cucumbers to come home and make these for me. So I had these for every meal. That's just ha what a wonderful woman she really is. She couldn't drive. She'd get up really early in the morning before any of us were out of bed, and she'd just walk to the store. It opens at 6, and she did it, like I said, almost every day, if not every other day. So we're going to let these set for 30 minutes, and then we'll come back. We're not going to rinse the salt off of them. We're just going to leave the salt on them. So I'll bring you back when they're done. All right, here's our cucumbers after 30 minutes. As you can see, there's a good amount of water that came out of them. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to transfer them to this bowl. And we're going to add the rest of the ingredients to it. Which is, I took my mortar and pestle and I smashed up my garlic in there. Because this will, this will allow it to stick to the cucumbers better. The recipe calls for two cloves. I love garlic, so I have six cloves. You can add as much as you want, or you can stick with the rest of it. types of Chinese vinegar. I'm going to mutilate these names, but this is Shan Chi. And this one is Zhenjiang. Alright, so we're going to add a tablespoon of each one of those. going to add this is then we add sambal it's a chili chili paste it's, it's pretty spicy so just be careful how much you want to put in I'm putting one tablespoon in all right one tablespoon of regular soy one tablespoon of sugar And then a drizzle of olive oil. This really brings out a good flavor. All right, so we're going to mix this all in. See it's mixed in really good. But what I like to do is this container seals extremely tight. So I just shake it all around. I want to get all those liquids, the the peppers, all that stuff on, on the cucumbers. So there we go. We're going to put this in the refrigerator. It should be ready to eat for supper. If you like our channel, if you like what I'm cooking, please subscribe, hit the like button and the bell. You'll be notified of any further uploads. Have a good day.